What's up everybody, it's Alex from ASUS, back again for another episode of Month in Review. Now over this past July, ASUS has released two products, one of which is for the everyday user looking to use something a little more portable, something smaller, easy to use, and the other product is something for the hardcore gamer, something to bring his or her system specs, their, you know, their build, just up to snuff, to the next level. Now we're going to start off this segment by discussing the former first, and that is the ASUS Chromebook Flip C100. Now as stated earlier, the first product we will be discussing today is the ASUS Chromebook Flip C100. Now this is an excellent choice for anyone considering a tablet, but that also wants to do actual productive work, instead of just using it as a wannabe Kindle. On the interior, it sports a quad-core processor, 4 gigs of RAM, 802.11ac Wi-Fi, and supports an HD touchscreen, all for under $300. Now the best part about it, something that's really cool, is the screen actually rotates and flips 360 degrees. So if you so saw fit, you actually could use it as a tablet if you wanted to. Now if you're used to Google Chrome, you'll be used to the Chrome OS. This thing supports it, all of it, your Gmail, your Docs, your photos, and more, everything synced easily. And it also supports tons of offline usages as well. Now the last product we're going to be discussing today is the brand new Strix GTX 980 Ti graphics card. This is one of the most beastly GPUs for ASUS to ever hit the market with. Many of you may be familiar with the original GTX 980 Ti, the successor to the already well received NVIDIA GTX 980. However, with this card, the Strix GTX 980 Ti specifically, this thing supports brand new technology. It's Direct CU3 cooling. Now what that stands for, the direct for instance, stands for the fact that the GPU is in direct contact of the copper. The three, as you would guess, stands for the three actual physical fans on the outside of the design. Now the, the card itself runs practically silent under any light load. You, you'll get 30% cooler performance, three times quieter performance. I mean, all in all, this baby, sorry NVIDIA, spanks the reference build. And lastly, we'd love to point out that we had a presence this year at San Diego Comic-Con. If you were lucky enough to stop by our booth, you would have been greeted by an awesome 5v5 Hero of the Storm match on the new ROG G751 gaming notebooks with G-Sync. We'd also like to give a good shout out to Loot Crate and GamesRadar Plus, who were also present at our booths. Another thing I'd like to personally say, one of our employees, Kang, great guy, he was in attendance as well, managed to pick me up the complete story arc of Batman Hush, and was able to get it signed by none other than Jim Lee and Scott Williams. Kang, you the man. On that note, speaking of DC, I'd like to end this segment of Month in Review in a moment of silence, reflecting the awesomeness that was the new Batman and Superman trailer. <clears throat> 